What's going on guys? Jamie here back again. Um just want to show you guys my um newest um mask. I've been dreaming to get for so long. And it's definitely worth getting. Um this mask is called kind of clouding around. Um this mask, um this ain't no ordinary mask. Um this mask has four fucking different faces on it. And it's pretty fucking legitimate nightmare scary shit. But I suggest you guys getting it. Especially gonna have like a, let's just say, um, a haunted theme park or. Well, when I saw this, I actually had an idea for it. I was thinking about having it as like a freak show stand. Because this mask is kind of like a hybrid guy that has multiple brothers on his one freaking head. <laughs> um, this is the one right here. This is the one you put the C out of. Especially by the eye sockets. Um, this one, this one's kind of like a reference to Hobo the Clown from um, one of the famous clowns in folklore history. Hobo was always a sad clown, so I can see why to give him bloody tears for the eyes, just to give off a scary, sad look to him. And he, he looks, you know, pretty fucking sad, have a guy. But yeah, it's pretty damn cool. Um, this is kind of like a like a Walking Dead makeup design sort of effect. Um, zombie, decaying corpse clown, that is. And this is this is no doubt a reference to Pennywise, the dancing clown from 1990's Tim Curry's performance. This is no doubt fucking Tim Curry's reference. Especially by the way it looks. I mean, you can't say no to that shit. That that's a damn reference to it, the miniseries, that is. I do dig that pointy ears because um, Tim Curry he never had pointy ears when he's playing the clown, but he did have the razor sharp jagged teeth and stuff like that in the makeup design style, in the wide open mouth that he does. Um, I do dig the ears though because it gives off another demonic look to Pennywise from the old miniseries that is. But yeah. <laughs> And I just had an idea, like, since the new It movie's coming out, and once you think of Pennywise, you think of him as a shape-shifting demon, right? Well, like, what if Pennywise had multiple faces on his head, his clown form, that is? Like, what if he had so many clown designs for... Because why does he have to wear the exact same freaking makeup design and costume design for Pennywise, the clown, that is? Like, why can he be a different clown? Like, why can he go from miniseries, the old version, and then you have the new version, although this isn't the new version of Pennywise, but th let's just say it is, you know what I mean? Like, you know what I'm getting at. Then you have, like, you know, the famous legendary hobo clown. Then you have the, the Walking Dead style clown. This is not from the Walking Dead, but this is what a Walking Dead zombie would look like as a clown, that is. So, yeah. Pretty fucking cool. Pretty fucking sick mask. Um, I happen to store it with the package because if it's going to be this detail of a badass of a mask to have to go with your collection of horror, um, it's best to keep it safe and um, stuff with um, old clothes that you don't wear or um, maybe a, a pillowcase or something or like I said, like I use the package, but yeah. But let's just say if you get something at Spirit the Halloween store um, and it doesn't come with a package, so you, you get it. A plastic bag and put it in the mask. I would get at least two bags to put in your mask to stuff them up just to keep them fresh, you know what I mean? Alright, let's try the sucker on, shall we? Pretty fucking cool. But yeah, pretty fucking scary mask, especially for like a hybrid sort of style going on to him. 
all of his deformed brothers on on his freaking head. Poor guy. But hey, I mean, at least he's gonna work the circus, right? So he must just work at the. He might as well just work at the freak stand. But yeah, this would be good to have like a freak show theme going on to your um haunted um amusement park. So yeah, I should actually get one of these because I'm definitely gonna have that. I might have him hold like a a sign that says freak on it or something, maybe like freak show, performer, something like that. I mean, I might not make the whole entire body, but at least give him half a body. Maybe give him a couple of arms. Maybe like two on each side. That'd be, that'd be pretty fucking cool. Since he already has, you know, more than one face. And he's like all of his brothers, stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely going to wear this around the house and stuff like that. I'm definitely going to, you know, just, you know, love it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because this is definitely worth something. And there is another clown mask I do want to get down the road, but I'm not going to say what it is. And I assume it's the exact same person who makes clowning around, because it's just the way how it's made. It has more than one face on it. So, if they make this freaking mask, I'm sure they definitely made the other mask that I want. We go with this guy. Or these guys, <laughs> I should say. But, uh, yeah, again, this is um, Bumping at Night Productions. Um, they make all kinds of masks. They make a lot of clown masks. Um, scary ones, that is. They make um, aliens, zombies, uh, vampires, you name it. So, yeah. But, yeah, I should actually get one of these. It's just, you know, just a half. It's definitely worth the bucks. Again, I got this on Amazon, and it came... From the productions, bumping the night, that is. So, yeah. So, it's pretty fucking cool. Of a mask. So, you might want to check it out if you're interested. But, yeah. But, yeah, guys. Hope you guys like the video. Tell me what you think of clowning around a mask. <laughs> they don't just call it that for nothing. But yeah, hope you guys um, like the video. Tell me what you think of it. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.